It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Hakan in lovely Sweden. Thank you very much Hakan for sending the beer. Uh, one of a, the great followers of our channel. This is Omnipolo's Bianca. It's a blueberry, maple, chocolate, peanut butter, pancake, lassi, goza. And it's coming in at 7% ABV. 500 milliliter can. I really, really don't know what to expect from this beer. Um, I questioned the last Bianca beer I had. Was it a beer at all? Um, I think what we should do is just get this out into a glass, see what we get. Um, we don't like to overly judge a beer before we've even opened it. That would be completely unfair, wouldn't it? So here we go. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. <laughs> beer in the glass. It looks really, it looks really purple. And the aroma is like really, from here, from here, I'm picking up maple and chocolate and, right, here we go then. Oh, look at this. Look at this, everybody. Really kind of rich. It looks really creamy. Look at, have you ever seen a head like that on a beer before? Have you ever, ever seen a head like that on a beer before? Two finger purple colored head. When was the last time you heard me say two finger purple colored head on this channel? I think this is the first time ever in over 10 years of reviewing beer on YouTube, I've ever put that phrase out to you guys. It looks a bit jet black. It is, in fact, of course, a deep, deep purple. Slow moving carbonations. It's got a. Um, the aroma is really potent. It's really got this mapley. I, I haven't put it to my nose yet. I've not put this beer to my nose. I've got it about half an arm's length away and just it's it, you get the maple and you get the, the 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 peanut butter and the chocolate but bit in, in in terms of bitterness you get that it smells i don't know peanut butter pancake I, I can pick up maple now. I couldn't pick up maple before, but I always used to kind of describe a really unusual flavour in the beer. And it, and, it, and for me, that can only be maple, because whenever a, that I read maple on a can or a bottle, it seems to be that unusual flavour. So I'm going to say loads of maple then. Let's, uh, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Hakan. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you really get that goza, that kind of, that salty goza coming through. It's 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 like a mixture of sourness from the the beer and then sourness from the the blueberry. Oh, blooming heck, what is this on the polo? Um, oh, 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 oh. It's got a, a, a funny kind of 
a stringent bitterness to it, but it is chocolate. This it's sour with chocolate and and blueberry and maple and a certain kind of nuttiness from the peanuts is coming through. The mouthfeel is big and thick and creamy and rich. Um, I spoke to a colleague the last time I reviewed the, the Bianca. I, I reviewed another Bianca beer from On the Polo. Have a look at it on the channel. Um, put it into the YouTube search if you want, or, or search it in my channel in the upload section of our channel. Just put it on the Polo Bianca. And I remember really struggling to kind of say, is this is this actually a beer? And I'm going to say the same with this. I'm going to say the same with this. What? What is it? I'm starting to wonder now. I'll go back to that in a moment. What I want to say is that I had a I had a conversation with a colleague after drinking the the other Bianca, um, and his words to me were, "I find Omnipolo's beers fun, but at the same time undrinkable. They're fun beers." They're pushing the boat. They're doing all these crazy, wacky things. But at the same time, they can be undrinkable. And I've I've had it now where... Daniel Bale got me an Om Omnipolo beer. I didn't like it. Hackans sent me two Omnipolo beers. I genuinely don't like this beer. I do not like this beer. Um, I don't know what it's trying to do. Um, in fact, Omnipolo don't even call their beers beers. They don't even call them beers. They just call them al alcoholic beverages. There was a time... Look at it. There was a time where Omnipolo beers were incredible. Absolutely top, top, incredible, incredible beer. That's going to stain my worktop. That, that is just... I remember the first beers from Omnipolo I tried. Uh, the Fata Morgana was the first beer from Omnipolo I tried. And I said this is probably one of Sweden's best ever IPA or double IPA, whatever it was. And they made a name for themselves with producing terrific, terrific stouts. Um... I feel, because this is three beers now, I don't drink many Omnipolo beers throughout the year. Not that I don't want to, it's just, you know, that it's that kind of opportunity to get them. I've had three beers from Omnipolo now, all sent to me by people who view the channel. And the last three beers I've not enjoyed. I've not enjoyed the Omnipolo beers. And I think they, they're on a dangerous path to ruin in all of the good work that they put in. All of the good work to build a reputation, even to, to, to buy a brewery um, and have their own brewery. I think they're on the verge of um, really ruining it for themselves uh, um, by being overly playful, by being overly crazy. Um, it's just too... It's just too wacky. It's just too out there for... I don't know, comment in the comments box. Tell me if you've tried this beer and you like it. I'd be very surprised. I'd be very, very surprised. Very unusual beer. It's 
It's almost like they've added coffee or... Blueberry concentrate. And... It's undrinkable. It, it, for me, it's, it, it's, it's, an, it's an undrinkable beer. I, I can't see how I'm going to finish this. I've always been honest on the channel. Um, and Hakan, who sent the beer, no fear, no fear to the other viewers who are watching, but Hakan is like completely open to me being completely open about the beers that he sends me. He wants me to be honest about the beers that I get. Um, and of course I always will be, I always will be, whether whether it's been a, a beer that I buy or a beer that's been sent to me or by a brewery or a beer that's been sent to me by one of you wonderful people out there. Um, it's just undrinkable. It's, I've got to be honest, it's, it's an undrinkable beer for me. I'm going to put that down. Look at, look at the head. Look at the... I can't drink that. The maple's astringent. The blueberries way too concentrated and way too. I, I'm also. I'm wondering if it's blueberry concentrate. Um, everything about this beer, I'm not enjoying. I'm not enjoying that at all. Um, it's a one out of ten. One out of ten from me, Lel Craft Beer. Absolutely undrinkable for me. Um, Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.